Welcome in everyone. This is our 2025 Unusual Whales platform update. There's been a lot of updates. We're going to kind of go through a brief overview of the entire platform. I will have videos of that break down each different section, but this is kind of a good video for beginners that may just be getting used to the platform. Just to kind of see where everything is, so let's kind of get started here. So this is our main page here. You've got your five drop downs here. Flow data, resources, extra, connect if you have your own Discord, you can kind of put a bot in and all that, and pricing. So we're going to start start here in the flow data area. Flow feed is kind of your main area, and you can get a lot of that data here on the side too. You can see a lot of that stuff here is, is along the side here. So this is kind of your overall flow feed. And like I said, I will have videos on kind of how to adjust this, filters, and all that. Just kind of want to show everybody where everything is. So your flow feed, you've got your option screener. This is also a new area where you can kind of, they have built filters already. I have my custom filters. Obviously, this is like your old hottest contract section. You've got your flow alerts here. So... Again, I'll dive into this in a different video, kind of on what all this other stuff means, that repeated hits ascending fill, floor trade mid cap, we'll dive into that into a different video. Your open is interest explorer, this is really nice because this updates really early compared to a lot of the brokerages. This updates at 6.45 Eastern in the morning. So again, you can kind of see what's going on with the open interest, can help you find contracts to follow for the day. So you get a lot of that data in here and you can also do it by ticker, contract lookup and all that. So your filters are all down here. You would adjust that how you'd like. Contract lookup. This is really useful if you're looking for a specific contract. Just come in here. Let's say you want to look at Apple. You just type in Apple. It's going to pull up all your expirations. You can see your call puts. Adjust your strikes and then they'll come in here. So this is your highest volume on the day. So this would have been from Friday. So a good little tool there. Your net flow, this is essentially kind of your market tide, but just on a ticker level. So you can kind of get your net flow here. You can kind of see your top chains, your ticker of net flow there. You can see your net premium by expirations, premium by strikes, all that data is in there. Interval flow, this is also kind of like the flow feed and your flow alerts. Interval flow, this is just trades that are coming in very tiny intervals essentially kind of what it's called there super flow this is also very helpful if you only have like one monitor you can add in new windows you can adjust them how you want so adjust them how you want it'll auto arrange it if you'd like to your zero dte flow just kind of what it says there so this is all your zero DT expirations and you can adjust that information in here and again like I said I will have updates on all these little sections this is going to be part of an educational series as well so moving on here we have our market data next your market tide this is a very good page I like to keep this up in another tab I can see that overall market tide you can switch that out to out, out of the money keep it to all premiums you get to see your top tickers by net premium really good to kind of see what's leading the market how strong the market is etc like that got your sector flow again just like what it says it's telling you kind of what's going on in the sector having a lot of what's our change for the day it's our bullish bearish premiums in out flow on that sector you got a little news feed here and i like the unusual wheels news feed because it's actually news that's typically related to the market come down here you can kind of see your market seasonality your ETF in and outflow this updates in the morning actually so good to kind of look at that see what it did for the previous day institutions again kind of just telling you what's going on with institutions here just a lot of data in here for those that are really liking data your stock screener again can screen stocks in here how you'd like different tickers, stocks, ETFs, indexes, ADRs, all that stuff. A lot of filters in here. Your sector view, again, can kind of come in here. You got your stocks. You can see performance, all that stuff in here. 
It's going to give you a lot of tickers in here and can kind of do it by different sectors and all that. So a lot of information in there. Your options watch list. If you make a watch list, these bookmarks, these are trades that I um, saved. They save and all that. So you can kind of add them to a watch list if you like. And then again, stock watch list. I don't have anything in here. Custom alerts. This is really good. If you'd like to create an alert, and again, I will have a breakdown video on all this. You can create alerts for options, stocks, macro. I mean, you can do it for politician trades. I have a lot of active alerts for politician trades. You can come into your performance and kind of see how it's doing last five years, year to date, one week. A lot of data in here. You can obviously filter that how you'd like. Your seasonality here. Again, just kind of telling you what it did over the season. It's going to give you a lot of data in here. So your one day positive closes. You adjust that by month. Your ticker explorer. Again, this is kind of like that overview page. You can come in here, change your option volume if you want to see net premiums. You can kind of adjust all that in here. You got your daily stats. Performance. Highest volume contracts. Highest open interest contracts. Your historical data. Charting, if you'd like to chart too, Unusual Whales has that built in here. Volatility, so for those that kind of like trading like gamma and all that, this is a good area to kind of look. You got your volatility index, IV ranks, all that data in here. Again, your gamma, so if you're not a gamma trader, it's probably not going to stick out to you, but you can kind of get your daily gamma exposure, all that information in here. Options chains can see multiple options chains kind of see what the volume open interest is on those Your open interest changes gives you a lot of data in here So it's going to tell you that highest open interest increase decrease by percent so on Seasonality Gonna tell you so in this ticker oh, Explorer so this is gonna do it by each ticker So whatever you put in there it's gonna kind of tell you what it was the seasonality for that it's going to show you the distribution there. Just a lot of information in here for those that like data. Your risk. So, again, this is going to be for that specific stock that you're looking at. So, a lot of risk data in here as well. Your Greeks. So, a lot of stuff here. Max Payne's in here as well. You got your two Max Payne charts. Options charting, if you want to kind of chart out options, it's pretty much your options profit calculator. Analyst ratings, it's going to kind of tell you what's going on with that specific stock. We got buys, upgrades, reiterated, maintained, a bunch of stuff like that. Earnings, is going to pull up your previous earnings. I like to always tell people that are trying to play earnings, it's always important to come down and kind of look at that expected versus the actual move. Implied volatility is big with earnings, so it's kind of nice to see how much that specific company hit that actual move. Insider transactions, again, just like what it sounds like, going to tell you what's going on with the insiders for whatever stock you're looking at. Carvana, we can switch this to Apple if we wanted. So it's just going to pull that up for Apple. Let's go down to shorts, it's going to kind of tell you what's kind of going on with that short interest here a lot of short shares over time all that stuff so again kind of those that like that heavier data this is a good section for that you can see your financials all your financials here so a lot of good stuff here this is also kind of a newer page here this is actually a really good page to kind of look at if you are trying to follow any of that kind of earning stuff so moving on here, we'll go into the unusual tools area. So option profit calculator. You can put in a however you want to put in, like if you want a long call or something, you want to see what it's going to be. And the nice thing about this is I'm just going to bump back up to the flow feed. Let's say you have a multi-leg trade like this and you don't know how to really read spreads or you're not a big spread trader. This will auto populate into the option profit calculator. So. That one's a little, it's a cold effort spread, but, and I'll kind of tell you what it is in here, but it'll pull it into that option profit calculator, and, because that one's expired, so it's going to show it's an invalidate in time, but, 
just wanted to kind of show everybody. So that's why it's showing it's invalid there. Let's see if we can just quick find one that's not. I'll touch on that in our video, but essentially you can pull in those multi-leg contracts and you will be able to kind of see what they're looking for in that trade. All right, so back down to the unusual tools. So paper trading, again, kind of what it says if you want a paper trade portfolio manager if you kind of want to have a demo portfolio or anything like that can kind of throw it in there this i believe you can link this to your um broker don't quote me 100 percent on that i don't do that your portfolio back testing so you can kind of come in here mess around see what's going on in here api this is more if you're running discords and all that data shop this is one thing if you have um, a lifetime subscription, you can pull a lot of this dark pool flow, a lot of insider trade data, a lot of gamma stuff. It's really nice, really nice to use if you're uh, really good with Excel. Again, data downloads again. You can kind of pull in that options flow for Friday, all the hottest contracts, stock, stock screener, open interest changes, dark pool. And you do need the lifetime for this one. So this is a very nice tool. Media, political trading. So this is where you can kind of see that 2024 congressional trading report. You can see all the recent insider trades for um, politicians, all that stuff. Whenever they're disclosed, obviously they don't get disclosed right away. Tasty trade, if you are a if you use Tasty Trade, you can link your broker right to Unusual Whales. I don't have tasty trade so i can't really show you that just some other stuff in here miscellaneous stuff you got your news little news feed here futures data when futures are open just kind of telling you what's going on short data alerts if you have any alerts your whale alerts here so again if you have kind of just some of your some of your watch list stuffs in here Crypto can see a lot of your buy, sell, kind of what's going on in the crypto world here. Get a lot of information in here. Can see some ETFs, kind of what's going on in here. NFTs. So just kind of a lot of stuff in here. So I want to hop back to the main page. So a lot of this is accessible on that left side. And something I do like to do, you can always, like if you want to save a contract too, you can kind of just click on that. Everything will save in here. Just stuff you're going to watch and pop back out here. So then you can hide that too if you want. I like to hide this. I like the full screen. So back to that main page. So also we had resources. So we kind of hit on a lot of this stuff already, but we also have our earnings calendar. It's going to kind of tell you what's coming up for the week in earnings. And I like to, and I mean, you can sort it however you want, obviously, but I like to do it by market cap, see what the big, companies are coming in so like this was this week we got a big week of earnings coming up and you can see that's in that calendars area right there too we'll come back to the first page here so then you got your economic calendar here too so just going to kind of tell you what's going on in the week you got a fed speaker impact here going to kind of tell you typically what happens with fed speakers and how the market reacts let's move back to so obviously holiday schedule and you can get all that calendar information in here dividends are in here also we got your fda calendar here for those that like to follow the drugs and what's going to be approved all that stuff different statuses on those we'll hop back to the main screen so again kind of that political trading and stuff that's under this extra area investor relations all this stuff news you can see a lot of that's in here connect flow so you can see that we kind of hit all this stuff. So you got those two locations on where you can get it. Really nice platform. I've been using the platform since like 2021. I loved it. They make a lot of great improvements. But that's kind of just a brief overview. I will um, have some individual videos. I want to kind of hit on all these little sections as a part of a little educational series. But... They've made a lot of updates over the last six months, so I wanted to start with a overview video just as a refresher for everybody. And if you'd like to try Unusual Whales and you don't have it, I do have a discount code that I will drop in the description. 
feel free to use the uh, code. It's a great platform. A lot of helpful videos on it. But otherwise, that's all I got for our 2025 platform overview video. Get ready for a lot of educational content on this.